Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, Zombie Head Crusher back for another uh, horror DVD update. I um, only got three this time. Been kind of busy and everything, and I haven't really had time to watch any any movies. But uh, the first one is Monkey Shines. It's a film directed by uh, George A. Romero. Thought this movie's pretty good. Um, it's just like this crazy monkey in it, and it just goes pretty much nuts. But the main story in, in it is about this guy that, um, you know, he's like a kind of like a marathon runner and everything. It kind of begins in the film with him, uh, with him running down the street. He's got like bricks in a backpack and weights on his feet, you know, to help him work out while he, while he runs and everything. And he starts running and this dog starts trying to attack him and he kind of jumps out of the way, jumps on the road and then something hits him and uh, he becomes handicapped. And then from the neck down... So he gets this monkey, um, this monkey to help him out, you know, around the house, like, he, you know, you know how monkeys help people out, where they get, like, people sandwiches and stuff out of the refrigerator to give to them and everything else. But his best friend works in, like, a lab, and he's actually doing experiments on the same monkey, but, he, you know, his friend in the wheelchair doesn't know it, and he's giving these shots, um, inside the shots, like, this, I don't know, I guess they're... It's like a human brain, just shreds up a human brain and puts it in the shot and then injects it into the monkey. But anyway, the monkey just starts going crazy after a while. And um, they kind of like share, the guy in the wheelchair and the monkey kind of share like a relationship with each other. And um, when he starts, you know, having problems and the monkey try to fix it for him, like if he gets really mad at somebody, um, the, monkey, the monkey will kill him for him or something. But... Um, Definitely a good movie. It's it's pretty crazy. Um, the movie is pretty long. It's like two hours long. I wish it would have been like an hour and thirty minutes because I think this movie is too long. Because after a while, it gets kind of boring. Um, this movie is. It can get boring in points, but overall, the concept and everything is pretty cool. But I thought it was a pretty good movie. Um, definitely check it out. Uh, the next one is Bad Ronald. Um, been hearing a lot of people talk about this movie, so I wanted to check it out. Um, I thought this movie actually was really good. I mean, it's, it doesn't have a lot of gore in it and stuff, but the main concept of this movie, that's why I like it a lot, just because there ain't no movie like it. And uh, it's really about this guy, Ronald, um, and people don't really like him too much, you know. And he, he gets up, um, he ends up going out somewhere and talking to this girl and he gets mad at her or something because I, I think she says something about his mom and he pushes her and she falls down and he accidentally kills her. Well, she like falls down like a con concrete center block or something, hits her head on it, and kills herself. I'm well, not kill herself, but um, he kills her on accident. And uh, he tells his mom, and they try to hide the body. That way, the police won't come after him. And they stick her in the bathroom, and then they like put some kind of board up on the bathroom and put the wallpaper over it or whatever, so it doesn't look like they have a bathroom. And they keep her body in there. And uh, she, the mom, the mother hides him in like this cabinet space. I don't know, it's like this little crawl space. And he gets in there for like a long time. And uh, he stays in there for a long time, hiding from the cops and stuff. And his mother trying to cover up for him and everything. And then uh, something happens to his mom. Um, she ends up um, passing away. So he's kind of trapped in the house by himself. And I don't know, he starts going crazy in there. And um, other stuff starts starts happening. I don't really want to give too much away in this movie because it's a really good movie and I mean you can say a lot of stuff on it and pretty much kind of spoil the whole movie but uh, definitely check this out. It's definitely a good movie. Um, it's pretty low budget the movie is like the, the film quality and everything but the whole like I said the whole story and the concept is really really good. Definitely check this out. And the last one is The Maniac which I've been waiting to see this one for a while too. Um, this one's the uh, I think the Acre, Acre Bay edition. Uh, I did see another one, which I was kind of mad because I got this one used. And uh, I did see a newer one at the store, the same store I bought it from. And uh, go figure, right? And uh, it was a 30-year 30 30 year anniversary Blue Underground. I wish I had that edition than this one because this one was used. The other one wasn't. It was, it was like brand new. But uh, this movie is definitely really good, too. Uh, this guy's crazy uh, in this movie. He just got pretty much kills like... Really, just random girls. So I don't know. He had, um, he has a thing for killing girls. More of his victims are girls. I think he kills one guy in the movie, but the rest of them are girls. And I was trying to figure out why. You know, 
Um, he's killing all these girls and not anybody else, like men or anything. But later in the movie, he'll tell you, I don't want to give it away, but later in the movie, he'll tell you towards the end um, kind of why he doesn't like women. But um, this movie's crazy. Like, has a, uh, like, say, if he, when he kills a woman, he'll, like, cut her hair off, like, scalp her, and, like, put it on a mannequin that he has at his home, like, all these mannequins he has. So every time he kills a victim, he takes the woman's clothes and their hair and like like tacks it onto a mannequin's head and then puts the their clothes that they had on puts it on the mannequin and when he goes back into his room he like uh he talks to himself and everything I don't know this dude just all around crazy but uh definitely a good movie um definitely has some good gore scenes in it and they had one scene where he jumps on the roof of this roof of this uh couple's car. And he just blasts his dude in the head with a shotgun. He's like a head explosion. And you see the brains and everything else flying in slow motion. It's pretty cool. I thought that movie was pretty cool. If you like gory um, kind of movies, this one's pretty good. Uh, definitely check this out. It's definitely a good movie. Well, those are my um, three movies I want to show y'all. Thanks for watching and everything. Make sure you comment and subscribe and everything else. But uh, see you guys later.